by athletes for athletes. Black Sports. Welcome to No Sweat. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, we've got such an amazing podcast coming to you this evening. We are on episode number 11 and I've got some phenomenal people. The name of the episode is Take Your Shot. Excuse the pun, you can excuse it, don't excuse it, it doesn't really matter. But we've got Kyle Blumberg in the building, we've got Wayne Sneeman. Ladies and gentlemen, let me do a proper introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, these fellas both ringing from the Olympic Games where they represent South Africa and they did phenomenal racing there as well um, so we've got uh, Wayne, the great, the beast, the walking machine you will never walk alone Hey man, wait, how you yeah. doing buddy? Oh yeah man, feeling good, feeling good after that introduction, wow, well, can I not feel good? <laughs> Yeah, we're going to have a good one. Uh, awesome, awesome, awesome chat. But next up, let me just introduce this man over here. Ladies and gentlemen, reigning all the way from the Olympic Games as well. He is a throwing machine. He is the man who has taken his shot. It is a shot put sensation. World, former world, under 20 champion, Kyle Blichno. <laughs> What's up, Temba? Hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing, my buddy? I'm uh, fine, man. It's a beautiful home you got here slash studio going on. It's <laughs> very professional, man. It feels like I'm in a radio station or something. Uh. Cool, man. Yeah, yeah man. You guys are, are so welcome here, man. I hope you guys are. Uh, we'll have a good one. We're going to have a good one. Kyle, please just put your phone on silent, man. Yeah, you know. I see someone is calling <laughs> you now. I hope well, you guys are here too. Kyle had one thing to do. One thing well, Just to do. one job. Jeez. Keep your phone he on. He can maybe shot the yeah. ball, but he <laughs> can't put his phone on silent. <laughs> hey, man, it's a lady stand by. It's a lady. So <laughs> hey, hey, hey. It is what it is, brother. It's I don't a know. Count, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be against you for that one, man. But uh, once again, guys, thanks for, for joining us. Wayne, you're my co-host today. Uh, uh, we've got uh, Kyle Bluffno as a guest. You could easily be uh, a guest as well. But, you know, I needed somebody to help me out tonight. And you're the man. Thanks, man. Yeah, no, it's lucky to be here. Thanks for having me. And then, uh, obviously, it's, uh, it's an honor to have Kyle here. Good athlete, good uh, good guy, and definitely the, the future for South Africa. Ah, absolutely. Finished uh, number Sigis. Sigis at the Olympic Games. Uh, when you were top 20? I was top 20. Yeah. I got I got dipped on the last <laughs> one, on the last meter from 19 to 20, but I think... Uh, I will take top 20. Uh, top 20, it's still a 2-0 behind my name, which I think is good, yeah. All right, so we just test this now. Is everybody just testing that uh, everything is fine? If you guys are online and you can hear us, please just uh, wave at us. Uh, we are ready. We are ready. You can, you can, you know, uh, studio wave at us, uh, but uh, we are live this side. I told all my, my guys that I trained to get on live, so I think they'll spam the comment section or whatever, ask a couple of questions. I don't know. All right, cool. Yeah, super I'm super old. Stuff. All my people have no idea how to do this. Cool <laughs> stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but just joking. It's gonna be a lekker one. Um, yeah, good. So yeah, guys, let's have a good one. You can just uh, just give that uh, that side over there. All right, let me run us through the program, guys. Oh, so sure. the program for today, very cool one. I did say uh, it's topic uh, number uh, eleven, episode number eleven. The topic is take your shot uh, with uh, Kyle Blachnoth. Um And uh, from there on, we're gonna get to the topic. Uh, we wanna get to know, get to know the athlete. We wanna get to know uh, Kyle Blachnoth, you know, your story, as well as get to know uh, Wayne Sneeman as well to see, uh, you know, where you've come from in your, your, your walking and sport. I mean, it's a tough sport, but you guys are out here uh, fighting it. So we'll, we'll put that in. And then we'll ra- read through the, to- uh, the article. Uh, Wesley Baton uh, wrote an article, it's called Nare and Kavana showcase their talent um that one is uh coming up i will i'll read the article and then we can just comment on that and then stick to the plan very oh important nice. topic uh, yeah, planning sure. and sticking to the plan is yeah, very important sure. and then we've got viewers choice uh which is uh the p- some of the viewers on, on instagram i'll see if i can get any other uh, um, uh messages through 
but uh, they, they wanted to hear the about the champion mindset. Yeah, sure. Very important. I think you guys know very well about it. And then it's fill up the stands. And uh, yeah, fill up the stands is also a very good topic. Kyle's big idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle's big idea. Kyle was like, guys, you need to talk about filling up the, st- the stands and f- uh, getting that food up. Uh, but yeah, everything is uh, A-OK and we're ready to go. Sure, man. Let's get started. Super duper. <laughs> All right. First things first. Um, we got, we're going to have to just give this guy some questions. You know, he has to understand. We want to understand where you're from, Kyle. Um, get to know Kyle. Who is Kyle Bluffnote and how did you discover this short, uh, short put event? I mean, um, Teba, it starts easy. When you're too fat for running, you, you go to the <laughs> short boot circle. <laughs> um, when you're young, I thought about that uh, answer for long. People always ask me, I gave them this stupid answer, and I thought, I'm just going to start saying I'm, I was too fat for running. And it's true. Um, you always send your biggest, strongest, whatever you want to call it, guy that can't run. You send him to the short boot circle or discus or javelin or whatever field event, except the jumps, I mean. But you, you go there, um, you go throw the shot. And I was pretty talented, never the most talented kid. Yeah, I yeah. Through the especially like at the 13, 14, um, those ranks. I was an average kid, never too great in it, but I think I only won my first SA title when I was under under 17, so that's grade 11 or something, and I think that's when I started breaking through. So I was a very late bloomer um, in the shot put scene, was always busy with it, but I think the year that I decided to, to focus exclusively on shot put and just get away from rugby, yeah. all of those other sports, and just set your mind to one thing, um, just to plan A. You don't have a plan B. Your plan A is short put, and I think that worked in my favor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, man, it's an amazing story. Wayne, what questions do you have for this guy? I mean, he makes it sound like, yeah, you, if you if you're too big for 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 for, for running, then you must throw. Uh, what questions do you think uh, are important? I mean, we're trying to get to the next cow block at the end of the day. Yeah, no, I think uh, he said he's too slow for running, and um, I'm too skinny for throwing. So then you start <laughs> walking, so it's a so it's a so it's a snowball effect. I think um, for me, for Kyle, I think um, obviously a big guy like him, rugby in South Africa is very important, and I think it's a it, it, a lot of the guys choose rugby over athletics, track and field because I think it's it's something that comes so natural for us. Um, why not rugby? I think uh, you were in Chris Dorp in a school where rugby is a massive thing. So I think uh, was it an, was it uh, always going to more to short put because you were more talented or was it something that you know what I think maybe not rugby maybe not short put why did you choose short put over rugby I would think someone like you yes see this guy can scrum if he was in Europe now he would have maybe won a game extra in the <laughs> in the championship that we have now absolutely um, yeah you see what the thing is with rugby and I, this is a very controversial topic but. There's a quota system. You can't change anything about that. And when I was under 16, we were playing um, playing the trials and whatever. And we played against the Bulls. And they had great trials. I was in the Grand Como team under 16. Yeah, yeah. Through all three of the trials. And then when the final team came out, I was starting for the Grand Como team. And I was in the B team. So you want to call it the academy side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I just thought, there's no there's no clear measurement in rugby. So there's yeah. not a, you're running a 10.2. That's true, yeah. It's a qualifying system. So there's no clear measurement in rugby. When athletics, if I run a... 10-1, yeah. 10 rounds of 10 two. That's so it. we know I'm better. Yeah. So there's a clear measurement system. You work hard, you yeah. can see your results. Yeah. I feel like in rugby, it's someone else's opinion of you. It's a very objective sport about you as a person. So in uh, athletics, the work you put in, yeah. the work you decide to do, and what you decide to make of yourself as a person, that's what you will get out of it. In rugby, it's someone else's opinion of you that matters much more. So mm. I feel like rugby was never meant for me. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Shot with the work I put in is the work I get out at the end of the day. That's so true, man. I remember I, I used to also play soccer, you know. Yeah. I was also on the crossroads. I was like literally 16, 17. Mm. Um, we're playing against uh, the best guys in the league. You know, we've got uh, the guys uh, such as uh, we've got, um, you know, all the top guys. I was mm. playing with the men uh, when it comes to Kaiser Chief, Super Sport, blah, mm. blah, blah, you know. And I, yeah. and I feel like I, w- I was one of the best, you know what I mean, left-footed players. Mm. And we go to a tournament, I've got a fan, I play fantastic, you know, I score goals, you know, I'm a real natural left, you know, you, you yeah, can you see somebody's not a left yeah. player, yeah. Yeah. he has to use his right the whole time. Yeah, of course, you guys are a different breed, <laughs> <laughs> and specifically <laughs> cricket, no, uh, no one likes uh, to uh, bowl to a lefty, exactly. oh, the left hand bowler, you guys are crazy. Yeah. So now the tournament ends, the sel- selecting squads, you don't get yeah. selected, and you can't say why, yeah. I can't really say why, is it my performance, is it... Exactly. What is it, you know? And then when athletics came, they're like, "Listen, Chamba, uh, Tani Inga, Inga Briema, she's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get your bursary. You can study. I'm gonna yeah, make I'm sure that you've goals. got your, 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 your goals. We can take you to essays." Mm. I was like, "Oh my word!" For the first time in my life, I c- actually have a projection of how mm. my life can actually go. With soccer, I was like, 
Hopefully they will yeah. find you. Hopefully they yeah. find you. <laughs> and athletics, I know, Wayne knows, if he st- runs the race or walks the race, in whatever time, you will become a world champion. Exactly. If I throw that distance, I can become a world champion. I can measure myself every week, every month, to see where you're at, where as in rugby or something, you don't know. You Soccer, don't know, anything, man. you don't know. It's just a team you're, sport. you're praying for the coach, and if that guy doesn't <laughs> like you or whoever doesn't like you, you're going to kick you to the curb. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. the truth, man. <laughs> so I have that opinion of team sports where that's why I do individual sports. You can have the day of your life. It's the best day you've had on the pitch. And the 14 other players or the 10 other players is having bad days and you lose. Hey. It's got nothing to do with you. Yeah. Nothing to do nothing with you. Nothing to do with you. And you walk off that field <laughs> thing. I did everything I could. <laughs> but team sports are fun. Uh, yeah, it's it's fun. Ah, it's like sometimes, yeah. but I mean, a team sport is not. You gotta like wear out. You gotta wear out. Yeah, I mean, you know, like uh, you know, change rooms. Uh, we know traveling. I remember traveling as a team, man. Oh, it's yeah. nothing like it. It's all jokes. It's all fun. Uh, but then again, when you get onto the performance side, it's it's it's, it's like a two-edged sword, and then y- mm-hmm. your team is just not clicking. You know, there's just times where you just feel that ah, uh, we're mm. not gonna win. We but I mean, athletics, it, it starts, you like build a community with the South African Absolutely. athletes. When we go to the yeah. Olympic Games or when, I only started doing that now recently. Yeah. Um, but I feel like you become a family in Europe. You spend all this time with these people. Mm. You get like li- really close to them. And I, I like that about the athletics as well. So you sort of have a team, but it's not as close as rugby or soccer or whatever, because you still all train separately. But it's still nice, like having a sort of team vibe at mm. a major championship. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. When you meet up in an event in Europe, you're so happy to see a fellow South African. Another South African, yeah. If you see someone like Carl, who I, I met up with uh, Peter Conrad, he yeah. was random. Yeah. He was so happy to hear of the yeah. Cons or someone yeah. saying, my bra. Yeah. Yeah. South African. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so Carl has a good point there. If you meet up in Europe, and it, that it's happens more often than you think. So yeah. And it's it is nice to, to, to get the community, as he said. You, you get to know those people. You start traveling with them. Every national team, we are together. We've been teaming together since Morocco, 2000. And I was a baby still. <laughs> yeah. yes. this, baby guy, baby. this guy came just from, from winning his title, so everyone was excited. So I think that's also an athletics. Don't don't take out that, that team vibe that we have. We mm. have a great team vibe in our You know, our you know what's, what's nice about t- talking about team team vibe, like with athletics, you know, USAs, you yeah. get Bro. varsity athletics. Um, it's changed a lot. I don't know. Maybe I'm, uh, you know, me and you are OGs. <laughs> when we knew we've yeah. been in teams <laughs> together. We don't even want to, let's not say when, but we've been, you know, I saw yeah, yeah. team captain there for yeah, Turks yeah, a just imagine years ago 2015. Now, now you were a bambino 2015, yeah. you know. 2015, I was still <laughs> primary school, Temba, not really, oh, but sort of. I think I was 15 or 16 years old. That's, that's not young. even fair at that stage. I, I stopped studying for the second time, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so here I am, you know, captaining LJ Fonsell. LJ was like, Temba, we need you there as captain. So I'm like, LJ, there's LJ. What do you do mm. with yeah, Temba? There's LJ. Legend, a legend, a record, everything. Kyle, like there's LJ, LJ Fonseil. What do you want Timber to captain the team? You know, and then you, you get the team. Akani Simbini. Yeah. He was new. The, uh, you guys had a proper team. Like, Tux was at the top of the yeah. game. Like, they beat everyone that year. Man, we won everything, you mm. know. But, I mean, you, you <laughs> just look at the team and you're like, wow, Anari uh, Eberson, uh, Moorman now, uh, Kobe's Moorman, uh, the Moorman brothers, Wenda Nell was oh, in so there. Big, big names. Uh, Monia Furi. Um, it's oh, it's big like... Big like you know, you look back now. I'm like, how did this? How did? Yeah. Is this a joke, man? Who made me captain? You <laughs> know, uh, course, but yeah. jokes on them because we won. Yeah, yeah. 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 And you guys, <laughs> Tux performed. They dominated for a few years, and I think now NW, yeah, yeah. NWU yeah. UJ is also coming through. Uh, no, 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 they're all but that's cool. Well. That that could be a topic on its own. Kyle, come on, man. What's happening, Turkey's? Uh, but we'll, we'll get to that. Uh, I think I'm done with studying. Uh, <laughs> don't don't talk to that. Yeah, but I think I'm gonna call it a day. I hate studying, and like we said, plan A or plan B. I'm gonna choose plan A. If athletics doesn't work out, I'm sleeping on the street, <laughs> sort of. But I'm gonna make sure athletics works out. I feel like you can't have a plan B. Mm. Um, make plan A work. So I think. But I'm I mean, like studying. you know, you know, with you, man, like and. Even with, oh man, Wayne, like I said, me and you come a long way back. Mm. I was your boss at the time. Remember yeah, that? Yeah, I remember that, yeah. Oh, oh I, I called him, I had to call him uh, <laughs> Manager Joe. <laughs> 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 no, 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 you call me boss, please. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I'm joking, man. But I mean, like, yeah. there's a time we were working together, you mm. know. Um, and at that time, that's when I started understanding, Wayne, you, the trying to measure being a professional, uh, making money. Mm. And the sacrifices you have to make, uh, it's like, let's call it plan, plan B, uh, like what yeah. you say. You know, it's either you take your shot fully and you go to Olympic swing mm. and you qualify and, you you know, you get there. Yeah. Or you have a plan B type of lifestyle. You've got a bit of a salary. I mean, it's difficult. Of course. Who are we to say s- to somebody, you're talented enough, uh, Kyle Bluffner, to just stay at home and 
athletics and, will take it's difficult you know what i'm saying just train twice a day and and do your that's your job that's it and i mean i feel like we don't have the systems in place in south africa for mm. me like i was you know zane where yes yeah, yeah, the I shop mean, he's a guy yeah, 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 yeah. and he's a be south africa, but he be went to italy and if south i had africa. the opportunity to be honest i would almost do the same thing because I'm not going to talk um, amounts now, but they paid him to represent Italy. They paid him to qualify for the Olympic Games. They have set stuff in place where they pay their athletes. So it's easier in other countries. But I mean, I feel like if you in the top 1% of the world or like the top 1% of throwers, you come mm. top eight at every major championship, you will start making money and you will be able to earn a living out of yeah. athletics. So I feel like that's just the plan. Do that. Focus yeah. on that. If you reach a certain standard in athletics, I think it's easy to maintain that standard. I think um, for the last, let's say, five, six, seven years, you can see that and you know the guys who's coming through. You always compete against the same guys. So if you pitch up in a Diamond League or a yeah. big Europe League or going to big races wherever in the world, yeah. if you get a top eight, you get money. Yeah. So Kyle got a, a top six now in the Olympics. So we know that he c- is going to get invited to the bigger bigger events. And now it starts snowballing. Yeah. And then that goes up and up and up. And the other thing that I want to <laughs> say is you better start throwing well. Yeah. No one's going to take in a big guy like you. You're going to eat the fridge uh, empty. So, <laughs> so <laughs> Kyle kind of has to have a, a, a plan A because... Uh, yeah, so he doesn't eat, uh, he told us now he's not fond of chicken, so that's a problem. Nah, I like chicken, but <laughs> if you look at like shot putters, I thought I'm a biggish guy, um, out of my friends, you're always a bigger guy. Yeah. But you look at shot putters around the world, I'm a pretty medium sized shot putter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you are. No, you I'm are. not the biggest guy. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. The first, th- I watched the Olympics like on the TV for the first time, mm. maybe two weeks ago. I thought I saw it on a recording or catch up or something. I s- thought, let me watch a shot put. And I saw like I look like a small, smallish guy. And if you take me, I'm I'm pretty decent, one nine five, hundred and fifty kilos. That's a pretty <laughs> big guy if you measure it. And you know, I walk next to these guys and I feel small. I feel like a lighty. Um, but uh, hopefully it gets b- less. No, but in the coming years, we have to be be honest as well. You are a lighty against yeah, those guys. Come on, so I mean you matured with age, and I think with someone like you coming in the Olympics, being 20, 21 years old against that guys who have done. Three, four world championships, the previous Olympic games. Yeah. Mate, I think you you That's you, you shot way, way above your. <laughs> I want to look older with the mustache now. <laughs> was it? I don't know what the expression is in English. Way of for by your fear mark plaque. So it was like he was competing a guys that has got way more experience than him. So obviously they're gonna look a bit bigger than you. But I think in in three more years, 2024, it's gonna be on the same level, and that's gonna be interesting to see you then, and maybe 2028. Then Carl's gonna be nah, on the level, time. even time on the bigger on my side level. At least to that one, I'm still young. Yeah, so you are so very young. I mean, like, yeah. I mean, uh, 23 maximum. What are you? 22 or 23? I'm turning 22 next month. Oh my goodness! Yeah, so I'm still. still I mean, young. to be listen, to be sixth in an Olympic That's final insane. at the age of 21, turning 22, mm. that is sensational. Yeah, I, I didn't think I'd like. I thought throw 21 because shot put is a at an all time high. So I thought a mm. twenty one will maybe get you like a eighth place, maybe tenth. So I was surprised with the with what the distance got me. Mm. But uh, that's where also in my mind I made the shift to where on the day anything can happen. So if you're in an Olympic final, if you're in a hundred meter final, I spoke to AK about it, anything can happen. You can mm. win with a ten zero. Yeah. You don't have to yeah. go to nine eight. You Just what happens anything. on the day, who knows? And nobody asked you how did you win your Olympic yeah, medal? I won. You uh, won your Olympic medal. Yeah. So just go perform on the day and don't think to buy Think about it the match. I think yeah. Tatiana mentioned something like that. She <laughs> said, if you have a lane, you have a chance. Oh, that's it. That's, yeah, that's Tatiana that's it. mentioned that, and she definitely showed us what you can do. So, took his chance, and I think it paid off very, very well. So, in, uh, it's going to be interesting to see in the, in the, in the future what happens. No, absolutely, man. I think yeah, it's, it's, it's super exciting what's going to happen uh, because um, it's, it's, it's the future is set, you mm-hmm. know? It's set. Uh, Kyle, you just need to <coughs> stay on the path. I'll stay on the path. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry. You stay focused, and uh, we'll be, we'll be, we'll be rocking. We'll be rocking. But anyways, gentlemen, um, let's move on. No, uh, we've talking about taking a shot. The shot is that when e- if you've got a lane in the final, anything can happen, and no, that's that's sure. life, man. And, uh, and that's what I personally like about athletics. I till today, man. I don't care how old I get. When I step on that line, man, I've got this mentality of today just my be the day of course that's how you have to be you can't you know even even if that's why it's it's so important and we'll get to that uh, topic of sticking to the plan mm. because if your coach says booty leister failure you must go through and you're like oh coach Thursday, uh, Friday, i don't feel very like uh, yeah, whatever yeah. if that's part of the plan 
You follow that plan. Of no, course. You yeah. rock up that day, who knows what will happen. Yeah. Look on the 100 meter final. Mm. We expected that guy to we win. We did. I never expected it. As no one, uh, because we were sitting in the hotel. We were, I was in Zapporo at that stage. And we were watching the home final. And then yes, our room kind of <laughs> became the watching all that. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Elroy. What was happening? Did he just snacks or what? Me and Elroy had no, two no, TVs. TV. Ah. Elroy had a laptop and there was another TV. So we had two different channels. So we could yeah, watch two different I stuff. See. So all the long distance athletes from South Africa, the coaches and some of the Namibians and Achle Sutuans come also came to our room and we watched it. So we kind of had bets on the 100 meter final. Mm. No one, mm. no one predicted. Everybody lost their money. I, me and my friends, now all of them, we're not allowed to bet on the outcome of a race. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because like you're an athlete. And yeah, 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 yeah. And all of my friends, they call me, I'm like, put money on AK. And I might have given them an amount to put on AK. Because <laughs> <laughs> you got pretty, I think it was yeah. like 17 to 1 for a medal. I'm like, take my money. Take AK's going to get a medal. I believe in that guy. Yeah, yeah. I was with him now for three months. Mm. And he misses it with a bit. And I thought, Split this, seconds. this Italian, I want to tackle him in the village because he cost me money so <laughs> oh, no, no. Like, every time I see him in the village I want to tackle yeah, him yeah. to the dining hall because so. this guy yeah he cost me money hey, hey, I had an opportunity he took it and I think he did race very well if you looked at how he raced it was insane <laughs> and the grass that was that was a not a surprise if you, if you look no, at I'll tell him that guy he's a he's a talented guy but if you think two years three years ago you would have never said okay while the grass came through like how well did he came through during the Olympics this year? So he was in no, a... that uh, guy. He nah. in a Wayne. <laughs> he I'm he not, not saying he's not good. I'm just saying... Wayne. Uh, if Wayne. my money was an AK, that's what I'm saying. Okay, okay come that's on. That, that's, that's, my, that's my comment. I knew you, man. That's like, my money was I don't want to lie, man. I, I was probably... I was the most stressed person. I, don't, oh. I, I put up some videos of me watching it live, and you don't realize how oh. crazy. I was you more stressed for his fun. Oh, was oh fun. No, man. no jokes. I, I was, was sitting <laughs> there, and you think, how do you handle this pressure? You're gonna fall stop. What's gonna happen? No, no, I was more stressed for his fun than my own. No, but that that's was hundred. that is nice. It's lucky because that's how you want to support you guys, and and that that's the type of support we have in the village for for each other. Like I I, I remember Wenda was running, and she had a, she went through to the semifinals, and <laughs> I was so stressed. For though when she was running that semi I was like I know she can go to the final but still I think it was raining that day there was that day where it was raining so much and yeah. it oh was yeah, so tough that's so and bad. I, I, I remember Elroy I was talking to Elroy I was like wow she's gonna really have to pull hard on this one and then yeah so it if, if, if it's just so nice when, when you watch each other compete and you stress yeah. for each other it's nice yeah but I the 400 meters for women and men hurdles at the moment ah, that's crazy. Crazy. you can't run there if you want to p- compete at the 400 hurdles, men or women, you're going to have to you win. Be there, you're going to have to run 400 <laughs> flat times almost. <laughs> you have to break a world record to win. Mm. It's cool, man. You know wha- what's so nice? Because, like, you know, you think uh, you guys at the Olympics, you know, you're there, mm. you know. We are the viewers and <laughs> audiences. But, you know, y- just the way you guys talk about sharing in the experience of actually watching and be there as well it's 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 just as important for you guys as it is uh, you know for people back home you stress the same yeah. it's crazy you know? it's easy. i think it gets worse once you there. <laughs> yeah but you know what's the lack of thing when those guys with the medals comes back you see those guys with the medals and they don't take it off eh? they, 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 they wear that medals the whole time i'll sleep in that thing. we wouldn't know for now how it feels to get a medal no. uh, we had a tough time this season but but it's not man kyle like you know just pulling st- uh, like stats and looking at ages of that thing I just don't know if I if I had it I would uh, I'll bring it up. Uh, I didn't think we'd be going into this topic, <laughs> but I mean, I- you look at the age. Twenty three is like a bunch of young guys. Twenty three yeah. is like you. Uh, no, no, you 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 twenty one turning twenty two. You were twenty one then. Clarence Keith. Zane Weir. Um, uh, not Zane Weir. I mean. Uh, Zach. Jason Van Rooyen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jason is twenty three, twenty four. Twenty three turning twenty four. Uh, we've got um the thrower Joanne. Yeah, she's also young. Twenty three, twenty four. Mm. Clarence 23, Gift 23, Patu is 20, Socks, Socks is 21. No, a young team, we sent a bunch of babies over there. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but did we really do bad? You no, know, no, not at all. No, no, but people you judge easily, but not at all. the work that goes into there. No, but I think Next one, I mean, we got medals. You need to look at, the, you need to look at the, the realistic part of this as well. Last year, when we went into lockdown, we couldn't do anything. We couldn't yeah. train. Like I, I ran around my house yeah, for 100 me. meters <laughs> times 1 million, so I don't know what that was. So, so another kind countries was allowed to 
to start training a bit earlier than us. So and we couldn't compete. For us, it was so difficult to go into certain places in Europe. So I I couldn't enter Spain unless I was in Europe for I don't know how yeah. long. So it was very difficult. So some of those other countries had some advantages a over lot. us in terms of uh, of preparation wise. Absolutely. I never could actually do a fast, fast, fast race where I wanted to because of the restrictions. Yeah. Well, I could, but it it will cost me so much more. And more planning. Yeah, of course. And now it's replanning, reschedule. So I think what our athletes did was phenomenal. I think people put so much pressure on, on medals, but I think we did very good. If you look at Sox, went through to the semi final. If you look at him, he went to the final. final. So we had all the small, uh, uh, not smaller, the younger athletes came through phenomenally. Um, it is what it, it was, what it was. Even even AK was in the final. So I don't know. I don't think we did, we did bad. If people measure our our performances only by medals. That is sad because I think yes, to compete at the Olympic Games and, and, and be for normal like I think that we did. We had PBs, we had mm. seasons based, mm. we had the uh, it was my highest placing in in a Yeah, in I remember you said uh, that in yeah in, in an event like this. Like a big event. So I think that if you look at that specific stats, we did amazing. So, so I'm sorry, but uh, people can measure. If people want to wear, um, um, to measure our performance in medals, they can come and try their best. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but that's how you that's how you measure something. You measure in medals, like a medal table. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, it's not always for color. I understand. I yeah, understand. and you don't want to end up medals say, for mediocrity. Yeah. And yeah. Then, so you you want to end up medals, come top three. That's what you want to do. Hey. Yeah, but it's a process. It's a yeah, process. Yeah, of course. That's what people understand. It's a journey. To yeah, get yeah, yeah. I can. Yeah, I see. I see. A win is. A pro- uh, you know, achievements and being there and showing up, you like, hey, give us medals as well. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I think South Africans in general, like I said, we, we, we're, we're, a, we're a hard crowd, man. Yeah, uh, but <laughs> we, are, we are tough on our sports people because I think of the high standards we usually do. And I think what's, <laughs> what's nice about us is if our back's against the wall, hey. then we can hit the hardest. So, you know what? Put us in a box, please, for Paris 2024 and see we're going to pop out with 25 medals. I'm telling you this. Absolutely. Come on, South Africa. All right, gentlemen, we're happy. Uh, I think we can move on to the next topic. Because sure. otherwise we'll get stuck on Olympics. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, we can move to anything. I don't know what you want to move to. All right, to next up. Okay, this is the, the, the next topic we're going to be talking about uh, is uh, the article um, uh, that uh, Wesley Baton uh, wrote. A fantastic uh, article. Uh, we've gotten to know a uh, bit of Kyle. So th- this article is all about, um, it says, Nare and Kavana showcase their talent. Okay. So these are two, you know, road running and supporting female sport, man. It's so, I think it's so important because, um, you know, the, 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 the women in, in South African sports as well, they equally need uh, all our support uh, when it comes to um, performances, mm. support financially. Of course. Listen to the, this, you know, the spa race. Six races, if you mm. get there and you're in phenomenal shape, 10 kilometers, you can run week to week. So it's like back mm. to back yeah to yeah back. Yeah yeah yeah. Um, you win the pot, 340,000 rand. It's not a lot of money, but how much work... For six races, that's not too bad. How much work would you have to put in on the track to get 340k? No, no you, have to, you have to win a couple of meets. Uh, let's be honest, you have to... Yeah, but I mean... The meets, um, this is a local race. Yeah, one of the best okay, you can't make local, in a local... You know what I'm saying? You can't do that local. So I'm saying this, what they're doing with this type of race is exactly what we need for track and field as well. Yeah, we need, we need more the races than that. I think that gives a, a phenomenal opportunity in, 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 in just to showcase, because if you look at the ladies running, how many young runners came up to do that race? Yeah. Some of the names that I only kind of knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know because I actually followed... That raises, which was nice, and 340,000, that is at least two, two, three lacquer seasons. If you, <laughs> <or> if you can <laughs> get to, yeah? if you track and feel, <laughs> you can go there. You just, you just Airbnb it, and and, 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 and <laughs> not like, not like these guys in Jamona. I'm, I'm yeah, saying like, if you, it up. if you go, uh, uh, soft life. If you go <laughs> to a checkers, if you go to a checkers in Europe, you can at least have three seasons. Ah, the Jamona's the Woolworths of Europe. You know what? I went to Jamona. I weighed 147. I come back from Jamona. You eat like a king. You go to Woolies. I go. 
<laughs> After that, I come back, I weigh 154. Can you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> I go my 8 kilograms soft in 3 months. Soft life. Oh, you that life is too soft. I see, okay, okay 340,000 for, for Carl might last 2 weeks, okay? So <laughs> <laughs> in <Germany. laughs> you eat them, they ask you what you want for dinner. You're not going to say, bring me a Coke. You ask for a Coke Zero. Oh, you don't ask for a Coke Zero, you ask for a Coke. Yeah, you're yeah. not going to ask them, listen, bring me the salad for dinner. <laughs> no way, there's a little like tuna steak with some chips and... Aside, you order that. You order the nicest things. But you did say you were, you were one of the lighter athletes, you know. Uh, so for you to just uh, bulk up a bit, is, it's it's good, uh, you know. It yeah. doesn't it doesn't uh, harm you. And uh, we'll get to that. We'll, we'll no, like get to that, that topic. And mm. I mean, it's it's good that we talk about this. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, uh, because, like we said, this is important. Imagine it's mm. a local race, six races uh, away. And you you work your, your butt off, you know, yeah. you can make... If you come second in this thing and you don't win it, mm. you're taking home 100 yeah. plus K. I mean, yeah, that's still decent. 100 plus K of... Locally in South Africa, doing what you love, that's awesome, man. Uh, man. I can, I can do uh, half of that at this stage. So it's, it's a nice opportunity for them to at least have some racing. I think six races back to back, six weekends... That, that is amazing. And now the Cape Town race is coming up and you know um, athletes oh yeah like yeah Gerda Steyn yeah is going to run, yeah. which, uh, which, which makes it even more interesting. There's a first marathon in on home soil, yeah. which is going to be interesting. I don't know what international athletes there is going to be, but and if you're on home soil and the people are shouting your name, it makes it difficult. Ach, different, eh? Yeah, it yeah. makes it easier to perform because you, you kind of want to perform for them. Yeah. And I think if we get that type of athletics meets, let's say we have great tracks in South Africa. We have in Ruderport, we have Tux, we have UJ, we have Poch, we have the Cape Town Point, and hopefully Durban. Durban, yeah. Durban comes up. That's six, ra- that's six events. Big events. You can put our own small Diamond League. Yeah. Why not? We yeah. get a couple of World Continental Tour meets. We get that. We get a couple of meets here. That's nice. I, I mean see Kenya has one now. Yeah. yeah we get that in South no, Africa for track and field. You saw it. You can almost do a local season from February to March or yeah. later and then go to Europe later on. You don't have to spend that much time in Europe which is nice because you're away from your family no, yeah no. so I mean you Rain has a family now with a kid and stuff yeah. I'm, I'm trying to stay single now <laughs> before next year because a relationship doesn't work but I mean if we can have a local season that'll be 10 times better then and of course we know we have live <laughs> coverage backtrack sports is right around yeah, the corner we so we know what other day super sports are going to buy you guys over so we found it right? <laughs> We're going to fight for the athletes, guys. By no, athletes, like for athletes, you know. And we're talking about filling up the stadium already. So let's, let's, let's th- we're jumping top. Yeah, you guys are jumping, but it's, it's cool. I like what you're talking right, about. Go, Kyle, back, back, uh, back track sports, back sports. You know, we've been there and we're going to, we're going to stay, man. We're going to stay. you guys are here to stay. We're going to work. Don't worry. Uh, so this uh, article by Wesley Baton, uh, Wesley is, you know, he's usually on the podcast as well. But he always writes this phen- uh, phenomenal articles. I'm going to just read uh, just a... A background, hey, now I must test my English reading I'm skills. Gonna, I'm going to assess you. I know I'm a <laughs> teacher, so I'm going to check. I'm giving you a mark out of 10, 10. Ma- no, no, I can't check. Don't ma- Clapton, <laughs> Clapton High School, I can see your certificates <laughs> there. I'm going to make some notes. <laughs> All right, so he says, with elite uh, women's road running making an explosive comeback over the couple of months, with the Spark Grand Prix 10-kilometer series uh, being relaunched, two spectacular talents have emerged. Tadu Nare now completely dominated, carrying a slight frame to victory at all six sweeping the campaign so winning six races mm. plus w- uh, overall winner that's what uh, brought uh, her, her, her bank to 340k yeah but that's nice uh. Sheesh. And she's from ethiopia like we said we talked yeah. about bringing international athletes they're coming here guys africa mark my words if africa if we decide man to really 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 switch on and take this thing properly africa takes over athletics 100 percent, man if you look at I know this sounds weird, but if you look at the af- um, athletes around the world, most of them are, are of color. <laughs> so <laughs> where are they from? Yeah, where are they from? They're from Africa. I mean, so where does all the talent come from? I know this sounds weird, but that's the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah, we so can, if we can get <laughs> one, one diamond league here, uh. get one stadium. I, I, no, I we don't want in Morocco, man. I, yeah, but yeah, but yeah. I, what I mean in South Africa itself. Yeah, we mm. really. W- but we we kind of need. A stadium like like the Durban Stadium, oh where, yeah. where you have the seats. Of course, you can't take it to Pilditch. I don't think the guys from Switzerland will enjoy flying over and then sitting in a plot of grass. Listen, <laughs> I have nothing against a plot of grass. <laughs> That's the nicest place to have a beer, and watch watch the sport and watch the watch the watch the watch the races. But I'm saying we need seats on on all you sides of the full stadiums full stadium. because if we want to, if you bring big guys in, if you want Warholm from 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 Norway, people are gonna come. Didn't we have the one? Um, 
what do we have in 2019 when we added the tux? We filled up tux. Yeah. You remember that? You guys had the hashtag fill up tux. I fill up Gap. porch. You remember fill up, fill up porch? porch. Huh? That was a big movement for essays. Yeah. You know, that was on my birthday. It was so full I couldn't get in. <laughs> on my birthday. <laughs> that was probably the <laughs> nicest vibe. Ratio through these first yeah. 21 days. Yeah. I was here. Lighty still. I yeah. think I threw 18. Like I'm sick. Chris Aramsa. All of them broke like the world record for the most uh, national yeah, like titles. 21, I think. Yeah, yeah 20, no. 20 something, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. World so record, Guinness right. Book of Records no, of so national We have the capacity to titles. do that. Yeah. Imagine, imagine now we have that 10, r- uh, the six races for the 10K women. We can do one week women's racing, one week men's racing, the next week mixed racing, then this, then that. So. We have the capacity to fill it. People want to watch track and field. Yeah. They want to watch track and field. If we give them what they want, the stadium's going to be full every single week. I promise you this. Porch will come out in, <laughs> in masses. Tux, we've shown that. <laughs> so I, I don't want to drive to Durban because I don't like flying. It's, it's weird for an international <laughs> athlete to tell you that I don't like flying. I'll fly to Cape Town. That's too far. But I'm just saying... People will come out. They will. They will. If we if we don't have to actually go to the track stadium in, in Durban, we can go where they play cricket. I think there's a track stadium around there. There's in enough Kings space. Park, it's like three stadiums. Yeah, something there's like enough that. capacity yeah. to fill up that. I, I, I know we can only spectate sport now 2,000. Yeah. Next year, this time, last year, this time, we had zero spectators. We had now 2000? we have 2,000. Hey. Next year, this time, Let's keep it going. backtrack sports is going to fill up t- uh, Tuck Stadium. <laughs> We're going to have 10,000. Imagine if we have 10,000 spectators in Tuck. Easy, though. It would be crazy. Okay, let's let's hold that thought. Back to the spa ladies. Back to the <laughs> spa ladies. Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get through that first. <laughs> Let's that's a lead down topic for two minutes. <laughs> two minutes. Okay, so one day uh, when the twenty year old Ethiopian athlete showcases her class at the highest level, we will be able to claim that she started her career here. On the roads of South Africa, you know, having flaunted a tremendous potential, Nare is preparing to compete in her first marathon in uh, Barcelona next month, which is set to trigger the start of her promising international career. Right? So uh, I wanna touch on this line and then the race guys, you guys can go to uh you can find it on facebook you can also find the article on our um website just go there it's right there it's mm. the first article and it says um so as good as nare has been however and while SA's best athletes just haven't been able to match her pace the other tremendous talent to emerge from the series is even more exciting because she is south african when taylor Cavana finished mm. third at the opening leg of the uh, grand prix in peter marysburg i had no idea who she was Okay, so this is obviously the talk of the town. Taylor Cavana, 20-year-old. Nara is also 20-year-old. Hey. That's still a baby, yeah. Both of them are still babies. 20-year-olds, the final Spa Grand Prix, um, they both, so it's first and second. Ethiopia, South Africa. Yeah, she raced well. Mm. Raced very well. I actually, we talked about her in, in, in Tokyo. Her coach was... The Lesotho, he's the Lesotho head coach. So, oh. so he was the one actually sitting with us. Alroy know him very, very well. Mm. So he talked about her as the new ta- the, of the new talent. So that's that's the reason I actually started <laughs> watching because he he said to her, "Listen, this this, this girl is r- got uh, so lots of good talent, and just keep an eye on her." So that's when we started uh, watching these races, and obviously coming through like that, I've never heard of her before before Tokyo. I've never had an idea. What can she do? I have no idea. I, I've not even seen how she looks like. And then now the race is coming through. She did pretty well. You know when That's I saw her really the good. first time? Because we are backtrack sports. You of know? course. We, we, you guys. we see these guys. We kind of have to know we that. We kind of know. Taylor Cavana, she wins the SA 4km title. I don't remember. I think it was, okay, let's minus COVID. Let's say 2018. That's probably the last time we had. Wait, 2019? Yeah, 2019. 2019. Yeah, 2019. Mm. 2019. 2018, 2019, yeah, let's 20, uh, 2019. 2019 She's 18 years old. Yes. It has to be 2019. <laughs> it has to be. <laughs> <laughs> she goes to the SA Championship. She wins the under 20 ch- uh, champion. Uh, She's the title for cross country, four kilometers. I was mm. like, where does this girl come from? You know, 2019, uh, 2020, not a good year. Disappeared a bit. Obviously, COVID I think as everyone well. disappeared. Everybody <laughs> disappeared. <laughs> I kind of had to. to. <laughs> <laughs> if you were out and about, you were going to race it. Come on. So, so she comes back 2021. Season starts, not much. I uh, don't see much of her. Uh, I, I, I just don't, don't remember unless if I've missed she something. She was hungry for a 340k. She only <laughs> tried for the Spoiler races. Yo. She didn't want a season. Eh? She was hungry <laughs> for that. <laughs> she races. wanted the money. She yeah. wanted the money, man. So, so, sh- so then we knew then. Okay, okay, cool. I mean, uh, now to do this, you know, to finish second. She didn't run all the 
the spa races, she ran three. Smart, 20-year-old yeah. running three races mm. instead of six. Very well done to a coach. Save her. Let her run good when she runs. I mean, let's be honest, guys. The spa, it's six races. It's hard. Kesamo Lesane, she's the uh, second place. She's the best finisher for the South Africans. Second, third, second, third, mm. fourth. Just stay in there. You know what I mean? Mm. End of the day, it's ticking over. You get the points. You get that money. Bling, bling. SMSs ring. You check your phone. Yeah, check your Hello. Phone, okay. A plus. Uh, <laughs> yeah, of course, man. You in an ideal that. world, the money is paid in the next day, but we all know <laughs> in South Africa, <laughs> that is definitely not the I case. think around the world, it takes a couple of months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It takes hey, a while. With you antidote these days, you first have to, um, yeah. to be in the box, and then you have to get the right results to come back six weeks, and then, then bling, bling, as you <laughs> just <laughs> said, then the SMSs come then through. Then the SMSs come through. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> Um, that's that, but I mean, moral of the story, guys, it's exciting. Mm. There's a lot of young athletes. The spa race is doing well in yeah. developing young athletes. Um, and, you know, for us, it's always important, man. We're always trying to look out for the for the young athletes mm. because that's how even Kyle and them, you know, you see them, they're young, and then all of a sudden, okay. They have a mustache. Next thing he's got a mustache, he's on a podcast, and he's, um, you know, <laughs> been to the Olympic Games where he finished six in the final. Yeah. That quickly, you know we what I mean? We should put money on Kyle finishing one of the 10Ks at least. And let's see if he's... Oh, on a 10K. Okay. Ooh, Listen, challenge ladies accepted. Ladies and gentlemen, which camera am I on? I'll run a 10K <laughs> and I'll race you in 60 meters. I saw you bullying the high school kids <laughs> there on the 800 meters last week. It was horrible. So I just need to train for three to four months um, to get past the lactic and I'll race you in a 60. 60 60 meters. 60. 60. Ladies and gentlemen, put another 30 on it. I want to say on. I'll race you in 60. Carl. Next day at the classic shootout there. We make a special Yo. event there. I bring <laughs> Werner. Werner is a bit faster than me for now. I bring a couple of throws and we race you, Temba. Let's make it 30. Revenge of the kids there. No, Temba, I want 60. I want to help you. Guy. I'll meet you in the middle, 45 meters, I Temba. Think okay. I think we have a something here. You say 60 and if I win, I think it will be amazing. If I win, you do a shot put competition with us. Yeah, yeah. SAC, you can just go there. This <laughs> year we were only two people. You could just show okay. up and get bronze. That's a bronze win. And then if you win, I'll run a 10k with you. Okay. Yo. I'll die and I'll run it in an hour and a half. Ladies and gentlemen, we're on the stream. You heard it live. <laughs> you heard it live. You heard it live. Okay. It's going to happen. Wayne, you Challenge there. accepted. Everybody in the room who's here, you've heard it. But I like that. I'm going to turn. I'm going to ask Pierre to get me some spikes. <laughs> Paul Hoare is there with my block starts. Oh, you're in trouble. Yeah, my yeah, man AK yeah. is going to be there hyping me up. Uh, yeah, yeah, you got a strong team. Huh? Yeah. No, but you know, it's like a gift. All of them, we're friends now. After you, you don't know what you're getting yourself into. Yeah. Listen, bro. AK, AK is the CEO of this company and podcast you, you're on here. Tempa. He's going to be on my side. He wants, he wants Tempa, us everyone to loves the underdog. Don't you come and say, I'm rooting for him already. Yeah. I know probably you're going to win, but <laughs> I'm rooting for, for you. <laughs> you can't. Yeah. Okay. Okay. If we have a poll now for the viewers, everyone's going to vote Kyle. I promise you this. Ladies and gentlemen, put in your votes. Ah, Let's here we continue. Here we go. I'm a 10k if I lose. I like him, man. I like this guy. I like this guy, man. Hey, we need you to bulk up. We need a medal. We don't need you skinny. At 150, you don't bulk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> don't bulk at 150. I haven't weighed 130 since grade 7. No, it's just, just growing, huh? It's just yes. growing. It's just growing. And then, no, uh, boom. No, you, I but stay heavy. I, I think I hit 100k's in grade 7, and I that's the last time I weighed un double digits. <laughs> I saw Kyle eat. I saw Kyle eat. I know why he weighs 150. <laughs> He's I'm got a man. He's a big man. Now, man. Yeah. Okay. I'm running 1.2 every morning. Is it? No. But <laughs> I'm going to start tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start tomorrow. <laughs> I'll start tomorrow. <laughs> oh, Tim, I fell for that. That's beautiful. <laughs> Tim, I yeah. was sold so on the 1.2. Man, man. Listen, guys. If, if, if there's ever a, an award for most gullible guy. No. Nah. Every morning I wake up and we have like this nice park, um, a soccer field or something across our road. And I wake up and I walk to the front yard and I think today's the day. And I've been doing that for four weeks now. <laughs> so tomorrow is the day. Tomorrow is the day. I promise you, I'll send you a <laughs> selfie there. And then afterwards, I'll court a bit and we'll be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, che we'll check that out. I like this topic, guys. This this is probably um, one of the most important topics: seasonal planning, tapering, blah blah blah. I don't even want to complicate it. Stick to the plan. Rip it and grip it. Rip it. That's my plan. And grip it. I had no plan this year. <laughs> I started throwing early February, and I said I throw till I qualify. I qualified at Usas, the yeah. last possible meet before. I remember. Before I remember. We, were, we were there. We took. Yeah, you guys were there. I was screaming, <laughs> going crazy. 
And I just thought it would never come. This year, um, I look back, I think I had 19 or 20 meets. That was never the you plan. The plan was to qualify in February and just be done with it. Yeah. So this year, there was a plan, but we just ripped it and gripped it right through till Tokyo. Yeah, just went past it. But I you think know I'm young and stupid. I can still do that. Yeah, that, that, was, <laughs> that, was my, that was my case. If I do 20 competitions now, I would have not be sitting here. I would have <laughs> been dead, straight forward. So it's just, I think... Th- I think it's, it's it's a mentality if you if you know what you want to achieve that that season it doesn't matter what you're going to do that's what you want to achieve go for it yeah. I knew this season okay I already had the qualifier before this season Boom. so th- for me for me that was easy but but it w- it's always nice <laughs> to show form in a season of Olympic season that's what mm. I did with my first race like uh, 123 yeah 120 my bro, 120 120 yeah. Not 123. 120 Sorry, man, yammer. 123 is what we walk in the slow race. But, <laughs> so... <coughs> that's my time on a 10k. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not true. It's probably 153. But, oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he weighs 150. We I'm need to be realistic. Well. Uh, okay. He's almost 40. He's closer to 50 than 30, <laughs> we said earlier. <laughs> Throw him to the dice there. Okay, on 60 meters, I'm going to lose. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll definitely pull something. Right. I don't know, but... No, let's save win, guys. Let's save win. No, no but <laughs> that's what I say. I think if you have a plan, yeah. and you know what that plan is, you'll do everything you can to execute that plan. And that's it. An Olympic year execution. That's I it. like that. Because l- we, we, what we're doing here is we're breaking up that plan. Okay, this is the plan. Right. You know, the plan is to qualify for the Olympics. Olympics. Yeah, okay. That's it. So l- let's just break it down like that. You're making it, uh, I think people are going to be like, ah, you didn't stick to the plan. You stuck to the plan. What did you do? You qualified for mm. Olympics. How we get to the plan might have changed, uh, but the plan was got to the finish line. Absolutely. So now, this way, uh, um, Wayne, 2020, you guys mm. were training, you're pushing. Hey, you did everything oh, you yeah. could in the gym. <coughs> this is what you need to do. This is how much you need to uh, squat throw how many throws how fast you must be your coach wants you to be in this type of shape in feb get to feb you're a bit off ah that's hanan covid hanan yeah. you know mm. what i mean that's I the was reality lucky with that last year because yeah. i started my gymming program the first time ever i started like lifting weights and stuff was 2020 january Sheesh. so i started there couldn't bench 120 i was a small baby <laughs> like in the gym you I cannot I bench 120 ah, i can bench ah. 120 now oh ah, <laughs> no i can bench his deadlift now so it's fine <laughs> 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 for reps probably for reps. Uh, it depends <laughs> what he lifts, but that's not the point now um so i got really strong throughout the year so before covid i bought a lot of weights i went on facebook marketplace decided boom to just buy a lot of weights yeah yeah because i knew we were going to be in the house for a couple of months yeah so i was able to follow my gym program and then i was lucky enough when stuff started opening i helped coach at high school north level there in krugersdorp yeah so they said if i'm the only guy on the field i'm allowed to train with my coach so they had a nice gym there for me and i could maybe in the beginning of june middle of june i could start training full time again so at the end of the year i was in pretty decent shape again so covid didn't have that big effect on me yeah 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 i think it almost forced me to go into a bit of a rest that my body needed after 2019 because let's be honest 2019 i was nowhere i'm the first year with the seven it kills you all these young guys think you're going to come through and just hit the seven. The seven eats back. Hey, Papa. It's you. Hey, seven that's is a bowling ball. It's <laughs> <laughs> as much as a bowling It'll kill you. But, yeah, that's the thing. So, I was very um, impatient 2019. Yeah, and yeah. I felt like 2020, I matured. And I thought, yeah. stick to the plan, like we say. Yes, yes, and yes. And there was a plan, definitely. And I feel like we followed it. We stu- I stuck to my gym routine, my program. I have a guy that does that for me um, in Ravonia, Andrew. Mm. So, he does my gym program for me. And on Pierre does all my technical stuff. So, yes, yes planned it all and we stuck to it every single I never went off from it so yeah. I think that's why I qualified at the end of the day because you just keep consistency absolutely that was nice yeah at the end of the day, when I got it yeah you were happy e. you feel like you I was, I was, I was happy for you bro you, you, you were like yeah you could see Otherwise Jason you to do it in Europe <laughs> <laughs> and that's hard huh? yeah mm. Europe is a different ball game man. just cracking 21 in Europe was tough yeah I didn't did I do it I think you did a 20.99 maybe no yeah, uh, 20 nine three times like yeah three, like during the qualifying but you just hitting 21 is a 21 is a bit Wh- of a distance why right? do, do you know like when people what's the difference you know everybody thinks you're going you're going to europe is for currency you yeah. know yeah. foreigners everywhere lack of trains you I know but I it. if I someone thinks europe is easy i think <coughs> one will agree with me especially this year with COVID. get on a just in your car drive to Orentambo, fly to Two? namibia uh-huh. morning, 
Compete. Fly, no, no, yeah, yeah. this year there was only connecting flights. Yeah, you fly yeah. to Namibia, uh -huh. you fly to Botswana, mm. you sleep one night, yeah. you go compete, you fly back, Yo. you fly back, you get back in there and you do that every single week. You can't train properly, yeah, it's like it's you just take you in there, you upside down. Like I, think, I think people just see the nice pictures when yeah. we go to Europe. They see all oh, the rivers, Stop the bridges. Nice pictures. Yeah, but what do you want me to see? Do you want me to post a picture when I'm vomiting after a lactic session? Is that what you want to see? So, <laughs> yes, please, please, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, I'll definitely do that. There's a nice lactic. Okay. There's a lack of courts next to the river today. Yeah, so okay. today during my lack. Uh, so there we go. Mm. Going live now, boys. I'm gonna go. <laughs> there we go. So that's that's what Tembo wants to see. The the real nit and grit. No, Europe is not that bad. So I, I had this nice old Tani living next to the track. So every day I take my shirt off her and I throw without a shirt, <laughs> and she'd like bring me water. <laughs> but I think she didn't bring me water. I fantasized about it, but never never got to. I the think point. it's comfort zones <laughs> as well. Um, that's why I stayed here training in Pretoria a yeah. lot. Um, for me, it's comfort zone. So if you can stay in your comfort zone. You you can train a little bit harder because you know you can sleep a bit more, you can do a bit this, Absolutely you know the food man. and stuff. Okay, now you get comfortable in Europe because y you stay more or less because the same place. So no, but so I, mean life. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you, that is something, but it, it's nice to have your own people here. So when, when I was training here, I had no regrets staying in South Africa training here. I, I think we, we talked about that uh, when we were yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, it was lacquer because when I was training, people starting to realize like this is now Olympics is coming. This guy is really going to the Olympics, and they would literally go. You know what? Yes, well done. Here you go. And just out of the cars, scroll down the windows. Yes, you. I don't know your name or whatever, but well done. We know you're going, and this yeah. is awesome. So, and that's different in Europe. Uh, everyone wants to rip your head off when you compete because if someone from Italy is there, and there was, there's always all the countries from uh, from uh, they're supporting their people because it's so easy traveling yeah, in Europe for yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, they, have they have they have EU card quick train and they can get to and they and the whole family is coming and support them no one really is there for you and you're so competing for money so it's like <laughs> it's, it's yeah, and, uh, you're competing uh, for money yeah, and those guys money. those guys will not pick you up when you fall down they will literally top tra uh, step on your hand with their spikes and go yo whatever yes, we're here it's different <laughs> we're aim for you <laughs> yeah but it's th it's different so i think i think it's 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 a lot easier Competing as Africa, okay. I mean, if you if you reach that level, I think yeah. it, it's still tough uh, competing as Africa because there's there's some there's some good talent here. But no, I absolutely. But I mean, you know the guys here which you compete against. Where there, there's random guy from something country which you don't even know of comes here with a with a with a shorty and a vest and all of a sudden he throws a 22. Like Carl's have no idea what this guy is all we about. Have crazy talent here. So Beatrice and Christine. <laughs> yeah. I heard this story because we were traveling with them in Europe. You talked about it earlier. Imagine if we go and raid all the villages here in Africa and we get a couple of them. They're going to be crazy. Yeah, I mean, this the, I mean the, the talent, I mean, this, this way, you know, development, is it needs to happen in the rural places. Of course. It needs to happen mm. in uh, places where leave no stone unturned. I mean, that's... It's yeah. a numbers game. It's just go to Venda, go. Yeah, go to clinic there in Venda, man. Come on, Kyle, we're going, man. Let's go. No, but I think with the shot put let's there. go, man. I think, we are, I think we are doing better work. If you if you look at it, that, um, I actually spoke with some of the guys from AGN today. We are doing a race walking, uh, developing. Uh, I'm doing a race walking clinic, a developing clinic, good, very man. very soon. So, it's uh, but that's just just AGN. So we, I know CJ is doing the same. If you look at the walking coming yeah, up, there's, there's young guys coming up. Yeah, CJ is rocking. Random people from random places is coming out and doing athletics but it th there needs to be examples so you just uh, race walking come on guys everyone wants to be a race walker when you're 80 years old that, let's not let's yeah, not yeah, yeah, yeah. but i'm just saying like that's the type of stuff so if you can set them example no that was sarcastic Carl. so okay. <laughs> <coughs> i need to say bazinga because carl doesn't catch the joke so <laughs> so, so i'm just saying like there is talent yeah. we just need to to find the talent, my watch just told me to stand up and move around, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we need to have been resting for a while, huh? Yeah, so <laughs> I'm saying that there's a difference, I think, between Africa and, and Europe. Like, yeah. th they can move around so easy, and for them, they see that type of races and that type of events so much. Where for us, let's go, Eastern Cape. If you, how many event, how many uh, track and field events is there in Eastern Cape? Oh, not much, man. I think a couple uh, of leagues, like yeah. that's it. One or two, Maybe. and then it's over. It's Boland there in uh, Eastern Cape. No, no Boland, Boland is in Western Cape. Is more I think yeah, we need to. Boland would say they're in Boland. Because I know my the Mika that did shot put with us. Mm -hmm. They stayed in Otuniqua somewhere. They yeah, had to go yeah. to Boland. That's where they exactly. competed. See, that's, that's like my point. Drive. That's my point. 
our national ca- rugby captain, Sia Kulisi, comes from Eastern Cape. So that's what we can do. If we can arrange more events, just showing these children, mm. track and field events there. How they built that stadium there somewhere. A nice what, what. 15 million rand stadium you see. So but I mean, if we can have a... Beautiful. It, we don't need a big <laughs> stadium. We can have at least a grass track like Poch has a training grass track, which is really, really yeah, nice. Yeah. Tux has a grass track. I don't. I hate that grass track training there because it's so difficult. But I mean, it's possible to to have grass tracks like that in the places like Eastern Cape to develop that talent. Yeah, but we we'll start stop <coughs> giving the entrepreneurs money. Yeah. Yeah. Let's take it and build a proper fifty. I think for fifteen million backtrack will build us a proper stadium. Give us the money, man. So we'll, we'll make some changes from <laughs> from the government ANC. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, guys. We'll guys. vote for you guys if you just anyone DA <laughs> will vote forever. Just give backtrack some money to build us a stadium. <laughs> <laughs> the upcoming elections next month. I think uh, uh, plan I, there. I think we, we definitely have the talent, and I think if we can build the right <laughs> places and keep the right events. We're going to be unstoppable. Absolutely. Mm. Stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. That's the main Stick objective. Stick to the topic, boys. Stick to the topic. <laughs> Stick to the plan. But I mean, yeah, like the, the Europe thing is, like I said, it's a jungle out there. Mm. It's it's survival. And the, I mean, the thing is, it's 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 par- it must be part of the plan. I personally believe um, LJ Fanzel, very simple example. Until you perform well in Europe, you know, LJ, uh, he doesn't see you as an athlete athlete. Mm. Because... There's where you get tested, especially for us as Africans, because like you said, logistically and trying to get to races and then still trying to qualify and it's run. Because remember, running first times in <laughs> Europe, you you comp- you your all your big races, your 120 mm. first it's competition Europe, in yeah. Europe. Yeah. Mark Mandel qualifies first competition also. Mm. Europe, how you go to Europe, you throw a 21 plus at Olympics. They see that they don't yeah. care about your African performance. They don't care about. It. I think sponsors everything. They don't care what you do here. They care what you do uh, when it counts. So that is part. It must be part of your plan towards. That's why AK and them. AK they run nines here. They're like ah something wrong with African times. They run it there. They're like okay. Maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe it I is I mean true. the people the people don't trust Tux. Let's be honest. The Tux is 50-50 here. <laughs> Yo. Yo. I should run a sub eleven at Tux. <laughs> Um, uh, <laughs> wait, uh, no comment. <laughs> no, I've heard it. I sit and I speak with oh the people. I speak to the people. Yeah, and the people don't trust Tux for some reason. I mean, <coughs> I don't know why, but. Hey, blech a note. Uh, stick to the plan. <laughs> <laughs> stick to the topic. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Yo. What's the next one? Therefore, I stand The next yeah. one, uh, Wayne Sneeman, is uh, the champion mindset. This mm. is the second last topic. Now uh, we're going to wrap it up. Champion mindset, we're going to wrap it up and uh, with also fill up the stands, right? Yeah, Those I are the two last topics. Champion mindset, mm-hmm. give us just with a few lines, what is champion mindset? I think for me over the years, champion mindset changed, definitions changed. I yeah. think for me now, it is to be able to have patience and also trust the process as we just talked about. Yeah, yeah. To be able to have patience and wait for that event and train for that event. Yeah. Um, that is something, and to know what your plan is. If you know that you need to peak in April, you can't be hitting as h- the hardest times and hardest training times I- I- in January, December. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to be patient to be able to, to hold on to that key and also not to take every bad event to your heart you yeah. need you need to be able to to calm down sit back and say okay well, you know what this was not the best race in the world but this is what happened this is what i can yeah. do differently to be able to reflect and on yourself and your performances and to look at your performance and say listen this is what i can do differently this is what is positive this is what is negative to dissect that actual performance and th- if once you get that mindset that not uh, every loss is not the end of the world. Yeah, that's good. It, 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 it is, is to get to the goal, and the goal is to win a medal, yeah. to qualify, yeah. to break a record. And that's the situation, but I think a lot of the <laughs> the younger children today with the instas and the, and the, and the, the insta information coming quick, they want it now, and it's difficult. A lot of them ask me for my program. I can, I'll post my program. I yeah. don't mind it, but it will be crazy to be able to train like that yeah. now. Y- you'll kill yourself. Yeah, of course. <coughs> it's just... To, to, to believe in what you can do and work for that process and just to stick with it just to make sure that you tick every single box yeah. for me Tokyo I knew that's going to be a tough race I knew it's going to be yeah. hard I knew so I did every single thing that I could do to be able to have the mindset and you know what bad days come and bad days go but bad days makes you stronger and that's 
and that's what you need to focus on. When it's good days, enjoy that small, small, itty bitty one percent feeling. It's nice. It's lacquer. Yeah. And when you win medals, it's lacquer. But ninety eight percent is very, 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 very tough. And you need to, and you need to make that your own, and to grow out of that that experience and and, and get tough out of that experiences. Boom! <coughs> Champion mindset. Blech note. My I like turn. that man. Your turn. I don't know, Demba. Um. Like, I feel like I refuse to lose. Come on. And it's mm. been, like, when I was a baby, like, small. Yeah. 11. Yeah. I weighed, like, 90. You know, back in the day. Yeah, yeah. No, we started, like, playing games at house. I think, like, hardwired my brain or something. So I started refusing to lose. We played chess. We had, like, championships. We played against my brother, my father. Our whole family played, like, games. Stupid games. Chess, mm. darts, pool. We played all against each other. We throw balls. We make up games. Just refuse to lose. And I think that started carrying over into my sport. So... For me, a championship mindset is getting there, not being in the best form sometimes, yeah. not feeling great. Having a m- this year, we had to do a lot of competitions, doing a monster gym session like yeah. the day before because that's mm. in the program. Yeah, and then just going up and just saying, "I refuse to do. I refuse to do bad. I'm gonna do good today because I want to." Mm. I wasn't feeling well. At, let's say, just for example, Tokyo now. Mm. My plan was to qualify for the finals. Yeah. I know it sounds weird, but I wanted to qualify. So after that, I couldn't sleep because we only got back to the. Um, <laughs> village at maybe 12, 30. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. I go eat, go to my room, call the family because it's still <laughs> yeah, early. Yeah, yeah, it's still early. I get to bed at 4.30. Now I wake up the next morning at 7 because I can't sleep. Now I'm stressed because what you're going to do the next day, you need to compete in the biggest competition of your lives. And I just said, go sleep when I can the night. I went to sleep at maybe half past 12 because I couldn't sleep again. Woke up at 6.30, ate breakfast and wasn't feeling great on the final, but just decided I'm going to win. Hey. I'm not going to lose. Yeah. And mm. I feel like all the young guys are very ambitious coming up with the shot. Yeah. That's great. All the throats. The yeah, young yeah. guys are ambitious. And if they can have that mindset, that's great for them. Yeah, Aiden talking about that. Kian, I train with him every day. Yeah, he wants yeah. to break the SA record. Those yeah. guys are going to fight it out this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to fight it out. Um, Kian's getting back into form. He had a long injury. So I think if both of them can hit 21, I'm sure Kian will this weekend. So that's good. If those guys mm. just get that mentality from a young age. We can push the throws a lot. Yeah. We can push all these events a lot. But you just need to refuse to lose, Demba. Yeah. Like you did with the 17-year-old. <laughs> yeah, you know, man. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just show them who's yeah. boss, Demba. It's Put a wrong age. Place. Yeah, but it, it's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a hate, hate losing yeah. mindset. And then getting comfortable with the uncomfortable, like you just said. Mm. God. Just everyone okay. everyone feel, think that if you go to Europe, is this nice golden path? And you're throw There's TV. a stadium that comes <laughs> open, milkshakes, water for people. That's not it. Even there is water, don't <laughs> worry. No, I mean, I mean, people handing you water with a straw. But like Carl said, look at what his build-up was for the final. Yeah. Everyone thinks you go to bed at nine and you, you sleep, sleep twelve like hours. <laughs> it's not the case. Like before the okay, luckily, okay before Rio's race, I hardly slept. But this year, before Tokyo's race, my race was only at th- 4.30. Uh. I slept like a baby. I woke up. I was the first time I slept and woke up after Elroy. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's just the mindset that you need to get comfortable with the uncomfortable. Man. Once you accept the uncomfortable, the results will come. I love that, man. K- gentlemen, you see those answers there, to those who are watching, I hope they, they, they can learn from this because... You know, even when I, uh, when I do back chat as well, I've had both of you guys on back chat, uh, and I spoke to even Zola Bart, mm-hmm. and, um, you know, I, I was asking you, like, what type of mind, you know, if you, like, the mind, ch- uh, like we, you know, the question is uh, champion mindset, because to be a champion, your mind does not work normal. Let's let's no. be honest. You're a bit crazy. If I had to describe it, there'd be a lot of bleeping. I don't know if you guys have the bleeps ready. So uh, uh, there's no bleeps. Be this is life. Eh? <laughs> no you bleeping. must be an animal. You must eat yeah. the other guy in front of you. You're not going to uh, lose. Have yeah, you seen me and Jason throwing? <coughs> it's war. Uh, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't want him to win. And if he wins me, I cry. I walk to my car and I cry. I remember Carl. He with cries when he... And <laughs> We cry. It's no, you, you're it's not gonna lose. You take it here, man, and it's, yeah, it's personal. You know, the race, we are friends. After During the race, race, I don't care who you are. <laughs> if you fall, I'm gonna step, step on your hand. <laughs> but after you you're up too long. <laughs> <laughs> but afterwards, I'll buy you a beer. <laughs> we, we can we about we it. can have a beer again. <laughs> but Deering, don't expect me to slow down. Don't ex- because I say to people, 
giving it 100 100 100 percent that's respect for your for your competitor for sure i do not want to lose and i do not want you to slow down for me to beat you Never. i want to beat you because i'm better I than deserve you it. i don't want to beat you because of pity i i want you if i fall down and you step on my hand then i know you respect me <laughs> yeah, absolutely man okay Timo. I'll take the lead, yeah? The next topic is filling up the stadiums here for us. This is my idea tonight. Five minutes, we'll wrap it up. Five minutes, yeah, I'm yeah. going to have to talk fast. Okay, guys, so what we want to do is you've been to a rugby game, a soccer been game, there, cricket game. There. What's your favorite part? You go there with your friends, the castle tent at the back. <laughs> Why don't we get a couple of Twizza involved? Twizza, make us a beer. <laughs> Not the same. Twizza craft. <laughs> Imagine that, a Twizza light. You go to the athletics, you have a Twizza light. light there. You go sit on the stands. You drink your beer, you watch your friends compete. In a place like Porch of Struem, Turks, anything. People want to come watch athletics, they want to enjoy it, so make it enjoyable for them. Mm. I mean, you don't give it to the athletes, you don't let them scream, throw stuff at the athletes. Yeah. You do it in a controlled environment, but yeah. you get a bit of a more, you make it fun for them. You get a almost, you get stuff to do, you get a soccer pa- or a soccer game going on yeah. for fun, kick a thing into a net. Do stuff like, like that. Make it fun. Fan to zone. Watch. Yeah, fan zone. That's fan what zone. I wanted to call it. Like soccer That's ball. the word I you're know. looking for. Eh? Now I got <laughs> soccer ball because I thought kick a ball into a net. And you, <laughs> you, know what I, you know what I just thought of? Why don't Backtrack start their own beer? Backtrack craft uh, beer. Cross Boom. beer. I tried making beer in lockdown. It does not work. <laughs> pineapple, <laughs> pineapple beer. Everyone can make pineapple beer now. What's <laughs> the problem? So, But gentlemen, w- what you're saying, you know, and I love it because... You, we, we, we just want to get to a point where we create such a an vibe. environment mm. and such a vibe. You know, remember when uh, th- when the Varsity Athletics was rocking in the beginning? I don't know how it is now. Like, I haven't been in a while. Man, it was music, fireworks, mm. yeah, people dancing, dancing music. Dance, music. You sitting there, you're like, yo, today, Poppy. <laughs> 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 yeah, you know what I mean? And yeah. in Europe, that was what we had, like, the music. And I get to my first competition. I haven't seen people at a competition for... Ever. Months, months. I get that. There's a shirtless guy with no shoes drinking a beer. No. Imagine that. You get you about to throw no. down. You <laughs> fucking yourself up. Here's a shirtless old guy, bald, with no pluckies and a beer, watching athletics. I thought this mate yeah, it calms me down. <laughs> <laughs> one of our easier. one of our races when you enter, they gave us two beers as an entry. So I was like, even even I winners. Mean, can I please yeah. get the name of that competition yeah. for personal it was reasons? So, somewhere in Czech. I was like, they gave us two beers. So I know for a fact the, the race walkers that doesn't drink. So I went with my pocky, <laughs> collecting their two free beers, the two free beers. The after the party was in Wayne's room. <laughs> the, the after party was in Wayne's room. But I'm saying, if you if you have that mentality with us, we'll fill up stadiums, definitely. Like, I would definitely go after my... <laughs> you know the walking. You hear the music, you hear Temo go, here comes Temo, and then it's dead. <laughs> and then in five minutes again, here comes Temo, <laughs> And then it's there. So, <laughs> if I can have a beer afterwards, I would be there. <laughs> you know what I want to do? We're yeah. going to wrap it up now. I got no, 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 no. Continue, oh continue. No, no, no. I'm not one and a half minute. One and a half minute. Next year, relax. For before we'll um, indoors, because yeah. I plan on doing indoors, I want to organize a nice competition for the throwers. I want you guys to cover it. Um, what I want to do is Silver Star, Monte Casino, one of the casinos, a nice casino. Yeah. And you get into the square. Yeah. We can maybe get some pole vaulters involved. Yeah. Um, and we get a nice sponsor. We get an indoor circle, because that's a circle we're going to yeah, be yeah. on. And then I want to get. Kian, Aiden, we get it. There's other nice ah, um, under yeah. 15 guy, Migali, threw a 21 the other day. We get all the guys. And yeah, you throw Miguel, with your own yeah, yeah, yeah. You throw with your own weight, um, but you come to the competition. We get some stands. We get uh, builders. They Jeez. sponsor some sand, so we throw on the sand. We don't demolish their tiles. Yeah. Yeah, and we have like a squared competition there. We get you guys to cover it, um, and we have like a nice vibe of a competition. I feel like that'll get people more involved into athletics and expose shots. Yeah. We do it with... I uh, with pole vault, that's easy to do in a square. We do stuff like that. So I want to try and organize something like that for next year. We'll do, we'll do a, a full yeah, so sh- shootout, man. Yeah, so if I can organize that, will you guys come cover it then? Oh, for, for us? sure, um, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, then if I can get a shot, I'll get a sponsor for the shot put circle and stuff. And we'll I'll talk. Let's talk after here. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll and I want to do that. And we get some music. We get some fireworks. I throw a big 21 mid. We fireworks up. The cherry just come down, stand up, <laughs> spin. It goes crazy. The people go wow, wild. Twas our draft in hand. <laughs> Imagine the vibe. <laughs> thing. We can, we can so much do. Night. We can so much do. We can so much do the 60, the 60 race between you two. Oh. Right there, right then. <laughs> I will challenge you right there. After every <laughs> shot put event, I want to see Temba and Carl lining up for a 60 race. And I the one who do 60 <laughs> meters once, the lactic will kill me after. <laughs> I can't do 60. Now plus. we need to do it properly, guys. Yeah. Run out, semis, finals. We need to do it properly. Between two people, Wayne, what do you want to do? What do you want to see? 
no, yo, no, I want to see Carl hitting like the on the third one. That's what I want. Man, I love it, man. But yeah, you no. see this type of energy. That, 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 that's that's mm. what we like about And I mean, that's why, you know, with backtracking, everybody, everybody can, let's be honest, guys. Anybody can go out there, put out a camera. Anybody can go out mm. there and just put up all these things, you know what I mean? But by athletes for athletes is understanding the athletes. We know what you're thinking. Yeah, you know what I'm course. saying. So for us to 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 say let's go. That, that's what I'm not saying it's not. Ah, oh, let's think about uh, the restrictions and what. Hey, you if it's possible, we do it. Yeah, yeah you course, know, if they right. say, I think if we can, if we can start getting support, uh, not supporters, but people in the stands again, yeah. if we can start building that type of stuff because I think 2000. Let's be honest. 2000 of athletics is already a lot, day. Eh? Yeah. So that's a lot. So I think because people in track and field in South Africa literally come, they watch their people run, and, they and then they go. Yeah. That's we have the beer tent. It's a fly trap there. So if you can, if you <laughs> can get, trap, if you thing. can get those same people to stick along for another hour and two, exactly. It's what? A five. You always say, I will be back at seven. Seven comes two beers later. Seven becomes eight. Two beers later, eight becomes nine, and we. Why is his wife? His wife says, "My little <laughs> kid." <laughs> Six. <laughs> the next morning, two o'clock. <laughs> oh, back from yeah, athletics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good competition. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. Yeah. do yeah. more, yeah. more yeah. events. Yeah. No, but see, that's what we, <laughs> n- we need to do. We need to get those people to stay. Because Europe, if you think in Europe, those people, if that event starts at five, they yeah. line yeah. up at four thirty. You right. If that event ends at nine, those people leave at, at nine. ten. Yeah, they leave. True. They will chat to the athletes. They will sit there. They will signatures. They will wait for I wrote my first book this year. I was so impressed. Yeah. I, I wanted to take a photo with the guy. That I was. I was in. I was in thing. Bosnia. I'm Tema Madima running against Omel Tuka. I finished third year. Mm. I mean, number one. I'm from Africa. Yeah. Mm. I, I was. I was sticking out like a sore thumb. Of course. There's two of us. I'm. I'm one of the two. Uh, Dark skin I chocolate have a funny man. story about <laughs> this. I'll tell you afterwards. <laughs> You'll tell me afterwards. Or maybe you'll tell I'll me now. Yeah, I'll tell you now after you speak. Yeah. Yeah. So then, after the race, you're signing. I'm like, mm. what? what? What do you mean you want to sign? I'm like, you feel like an athlete. You, you feel like an athlete. You, you know what I'm saying? Like but we can do that. We that's print a Kyle card. Sign for people. Give it, man. You're an Olympian. See, that's what we need to get. People want to stick around. Not just for the, well, for the guy who's running. Because, listen, we are, let's be honest. If athletics in South Africa starts at 7 and the athletics ends at 10, if AK runs at 8, people are leaving. People is going to leave at, let's say, 8 zero 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 nine zero zero eight nine. <laughs> then that after he broke the na- African re- and the South African record again, people are leaving. <laughs> because now, all of a sudden, the other events are coming. People will leave after that event, and then other people will come to see the long jump a little bit, and then we'll leave. Yeah. In Europe, it's different. In the fly trap, I told you guys. <laughs> we it need a light trap. It was a light. That was the love. <laughs> we put it on, Timbo. Oh. Listen, I need to tell you the story about Zach. Yeah. Me and him are, tra- oh. sorry. Me and him are traveling in Europe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for some reason, he's the only black guy at the event in the Czech Republic. <coughs> so he walks to me like really nervous, and he says, Listen, Kyle. What if you guys gang up on me? <laughs> <laughs> what if all the white people just decide to start beating me? I'm like, Zach, this is not the 1600s. What are you talking about? He just, and he just says he's the only guy. Because he was the only black guy event. I was really, I thought, yo. Oh, this is yo, even the says, normal. Eh? He comes to me like, really, what? he says, what if these guys gang up on me? I thought, I'll probably help you, but, but then we're then going down together. <laughs> <laughs> not really, but I'll help you for the first one. <laughs> yeah, then shot shot the first guy, and then Carl goes, I don't know this guy. Yeah. Mm, sorry, Zach. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Nah, <laughs> but anyways, guys, I think uh, we we onto something. We're gonna let, let's talk about this. Let's work on no, this. Let's speak about. You it. know what needs to happen for the walk to 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 get it more out there. You know, I've been commentating there, and exactly what you say. And here comes when Simon looking very good. Look at him, he's relaxed, he's smiling. Yo. The rest of it, you you out there doing your your, your two kilometer loop or whatever, mm. and there's nothing. You know with the throws, what what the people wanna see in order to make it more attractive. We just We're gonna talk about hundred meter timber, then we in it. <laughs> if we can make the throws hundred meter, then we we sure sort no. that. <laughs> but I, mean, I, I also we'll make it happen. I also think if there's if there's more more set commentary of, of what's happening as well because a lot of time in athletics something big happens and not even no one Everybody even knows, knows about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So when he threw that twenty one no, but oh. you guys are amazing with that this year. Um, we were yeah. there, bruh. Yeah, but, but who's the guys that we commentates on is it my 
honest. It was um, um this year it was Altus. Altus is a beast. Altus, but Kabo was also there. Yeah, but we had a camera th- in front of you while yeah, you were throwing. Yeah, but they like speak. You think yes, yeah, and yeah. I'm gonna throw this ball when it was like everywhere, and it's like the whole statement was like it was yeah. full of people. Now imagine that with people. Yeah, yeah. but see now, now that's the European feeling. Exactly. Because the camera is in your face, and you know, okay, now this is now serious. Gotta make it happen. And now th- you guys started doing this, and it's and that's now a growing thing. Yeah. That camera is in your face. All of a sudden, you start, y- you're getting nervous. Where, where, <laughs> let let be honest, that 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 the uh, weekend right after events, I didn't even know. Sometimes that was an event on this year. Mm. Like, I didn't even know. Missing so, leagues. But yeah, you know, like I I literally didn't even know. So if we can get that type of stuff, sitting. The, uh, the example of how it really is competing in Europe. Yeah. For those, the young lighty now running uh, 10-7. Okay, fair enough. But if Temba is with his camera in front of that guy, talking, ah, bah, 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 AK, what, what, now All he gets that feeling, yeah. maybe he runs a 10-5, next time 10-4. And now, we're still building something crazy. Now the crowd actually starts to realize, listen, this is actually serious. It's amazing yeah. performance. Like Boom. And now that's where the cra- that's when crowd starts coming up and pitching up to see athletes. Because uh, Orazio threw 21. at 21. He threw it twice at SAC. Mm. No one even knew. Championship record. Mm. No one even knew. I knew what was going on because no, I, I was yeah. looking there. But the crowd didn't even know. And that was crazy. That was something yeah. amazing. Yeah. Now I mean here's the plan, Temba. That's how we sort this out. We put one regular guy in the field. So put a guy that runs a 13.5 in the 100 meters, yeah. let AK and Gift and all those boys smash him with 30 meters. <laughs> we do the same with the shot put, we put someone... So so random. Yeah, we just, we like jury duty, we just that roll a wheel out of South Africa, we pick your name, <laughs> <laughs> throw you in the field, and you're competing with SA's like class my boy, enjoy. Yes, <laughs> like that'll be so uh, like... Scratch out your spikes. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Mm. All right, gentlemen, Yeah. Uh, I think uh, we're going to wrap it up. But yeah, it's been good. I mean, we can go for another hour, but I mean, the people out there need to eat, you need to get back to your wife, you need to get back to something, I don't know, yeah. <laughs> My home. By your home. <laughs> 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 to eating Willie's foods, we to know that. Uh, soft life, we get back to the soft life. Soft for surf. Note. But guys, uh, I think it was so amazing, man. It was really good, really like, uh, and these chats that we're having here, we're going to continue, you know, yeah, always thanks, talk. Um, uh, but I mean, we're going to get these... This th- that concept you're talking about for short put, let's get that going, man. Yeah, let's let's continue to idea. build this 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 sport, and let's continue to put in the work. Yeah, is that good, gentlemen? Like a man, feeling good. Thanks for the invite. It's always lucky to be here. Yeah, always like. Uh, um, thanks a lot for coming through and uh, good on it. Just a closing message, Carl. Anything to say in closing? Um, Kian, you better throw 21 this weekend. Otherwise, oh. I will never let it go. <laughs> and that's all. Um, <laughs> we were talking about it today, at the. So yeah, so he better throw it. Otherwise, I'm never letting him. S- yeah, he's not even going to get the end of it. <laughs> Buck win. Buck win. Closing message, Wayne. No, I think watch out next year. Next year is going to be a big year. I think uh, next year's Commonwealth Games, World Indoor Games, World Champs. Lekker. I am really excited for that, and I think uh, the young guys, specifically this year, we set the standard. Next year is going to be a, a great year. I think uh, w- now that we can get supporters, fill up the stadiums, and we'll show you what we can do. Boom. I forgot to put up my line, Tim, but I had a line that I wanted to say. I needed to wiggle it in there somewhere. Put it in. But I wanted to say we must put the field back in track and field, but hey. I needed to worm it in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm just putting it here in the end, so imagine I set it in the middle. Yeah. And that's all. <laughs> imagine I set it every Bringing back field to track and field, man. Mm. You guys are doing a good job, man, and it's so exciting. So thanks, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, for all of you who are watching back home, thanks so much. Uh, we appreciate you. We've had a lot of fun. Um, continue and if you're on, f- on YouTube like subscribe <coughs> follow the works you know what ladies and gentlemen and that's a wrap for this evening and uh, thanks gents it was a good one like yeah, a, like a, like a.